So for today's video, I am stoked. What's going on here? Oh, I'm out of breath. Look at the ISO, get it up a little bit there. One, two, three, blowing out background. We got it. Today's video, I am stoked because we are talking about something, arguably the most exciting thing to me. The thing that got me into doing this whole, whew, this whole thing I'm doing now. It all started right here. We good? And we're rolling. Everything's on. Liddy. Dope. Welcome to my 2023 home office tour. I have not put together one of these videos yet and I have been meaning to for so long. I just feel like everything in this office is changing once a week. I feel like this whole table is probably going to be over here next week, but we'll make another video on that later. Anyways, let's dive right in. Thank you for watching and being here ahead of time. You just say thank yous to the end of the video, but thank you now. Thank you right now for watching. Let's just dive in. We've got two different sections set up for this desk. I have a work station, kind of where all my design work is done, my photography, my video editing, all that stuff is done right here on this desk over here. And then I've got a gaming station over here, which is kind of where I like to relax and hang out and chat with the buddies and just shred Call of Duty or NHL, whatever it is. That is the station that I do that. So to kick off this video, let's start talking about my desk setup and kind of what's on my desk, how I work, and we will start with the chair that I'm currently sitting on right now. Now this is the Airy Chair by Epidesk, and I did opt for the ergonomic version only because I do spend so much time sitting in my chair from editing photos to videos. I needed to make sure that my back and my butt were supported for long grind sessions. Now speaking ergonomics and kind of making sure that my body is intact at the end of the day, I also have a Rise standing desk. Now this is the Walnut Stand Desk from Rise Desk IO, and it comes in absolute clutch for long days when you don't want to be stuck sitting in your chair. So it's easy enough to just push this button here, the desk shoots up, and then now you're up and off your ass. So for the speakers on my setup, I'm using the R1280 T's by Edifier. And I'm sure most of the people know of Edifier by now, but if you don't, I highly recommend checking them out. These things absolutely bang. Now when my wife and kids are out of the house, I have these things cranked to the max. Not only does it shake my desk to provide a beautiful massage, but they bang. They are just so loud. They're so crystal clear. The audio is brilliant. I know I've got one of the cheaper models, but for the price, I really don't think you can beat these speakers and they match my setup perfectly and they're aesthetically pleasing. Now, when it comes to mouse and keyboard, this is something I've kind of been all over the place with. I've went from mechanical keyboards. I've used the Apple keyboard, but this is the one right here that keeps coming back to my desk setup and it is the Logitech MX keys for Mac, and I pair that up with the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. Now I feel the ergonomics on this mouse are absolutely perfect. And now for the keyboard, the super slim low profile helps to prevent any sort of wrist strain that I would get from using a mechanical keyboard. So I just feel like with lots of use, this is the combo that works best for me. I am currently doing all of my editing and work on the MacBook Pro 14 inch. Now this is the M1 Pro version and I've got it paired up with my studio display from Apple. And this thing is an absolute game changer when it comes to photo editing and video editing. The screen resolution is absolutely incredible. And one of the biggest things that I was looking for when purchasing a monitor was that the photo editing and, and kind of how I see the colors would match the way it looks on my phone or my MacBook. Now I had a couple other monitors before this and none of them really did what I needed them to do. I always found maybe they were a bit warmer tones on the screen versus what we were seeing on our phone. And with a lot of my work being shared to social media, such as Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, you name it, I needed to make sure that the colors I was editing here reflected what you're seeing on your phone. So I personally find that the studio display has done an absolute top notch job at perfecting those colors. Now for a little bit of room ambiance, I decided to throw the nano lights up on my wall. I feel like it adds a perfect little back low to my setup and kind of fills some dead lit space that was over there. It was a little bit too dark for me, so I moved those nano lights from over there up here and I think they work perfect here. Now, although this video is being filmed on a completely separate mic, the one that I use in 99% of my reels, you probably see them on Instagram, and every other YouTube video I've shot so far has been shot with this mic right here. This is the Shure MV7 USB mic, and this thing is incredible. The audio quality is pristine. 
Now I just had a call with, uh, with somebody from Sure the other day kind of walking me through the app and the interface and how to fine tune this mic. So I do plan on making those little tweak and, and upgrades and, and having the audio sound much better. Now, as far as lighting in my home office goes, I did make a YouTube video about this not too long ago. I am using the Amaron P60Xs. So I use one over there as a key light. This one up here is a hair light and they've done the job for the last few weeks and they've been working perfectly. Now, moving on to the gaming station. Now I wanted to keep the gaming station pretty straightforward and simple. Now I'm rocking one of these Husky drawers here where I keep my EDC gear stashed up top and my camera gear and a junk drawer stashed towards the bottom. I'm currently rocking the PlayStation 5 on a 27 inch Alienware monitor. And this combo is just a buttery smooth PlayStation over Xbox always. To accessorize this space, I added two floating shelves up top in black. I've got one of my favorite pair of shoes there, my iPad, a couple candles, my very first camera, and some prints just to help shed some inspiration. Now that is essentially it for my home office. Those are the two main little hubs and the sections that get me through every day. This place is so incredibly small. It's literally like I can almost go, I can, I can go arm to arm in this space. So it's, it's small, it's, it's really small. So I have done what I could do best in this place. And I feel like this is kind of at its peak. Now I have dabbled a bit in the garage and looking to kind of put a wall down the line of the garage and, and creating a separate studio for all of my product shooting and whatnot out there. And that could end up one day becoming the new YouTube setup as well. But for now, this space has absolutely done more than its job and it has served me well. I've also got this wall over here where I like to keep some inspiration pieces. Now we have a Pete's Pirate Life print that my friend Pete sent over to me. This super rad Current Spaces logo that Sketch and Neon put together for me. And a few of my favorite prints taken downtown Toronto. I think it's super important to print your work. I have preached this so many times. Printing your work and having it up on the wall, man, that's just a, it's just a reminder to enjoy the craft almost. I don't know, every time I see this, it just kind of fires me up and makes me want to go shoot again. So having that up there as a daily reminder of kind of why I started this journey and, and where it has led me has been a game changer for my creative process. And that, uh, that is about it. That just about wraps it up in my space. This chair is epic though. I, I highly recommend this chair to everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe and comment on the video. It means a lot to me. This is now a full-time journey for me. This is what I'm doing for a living. How cool is that? This is I do this for a living. I absolutely love doing this. I love photography. I love making videos for you guys. I love helping to inspire other people. So if I am doing that, please show love on the video. I love you. Hopefully you love me. We're a happy family. Yeah.